Hello, hello, it's Kristen and I am here at Town Hall and it is time for another Art Ventures video. So for today, we are going to be making birds on a board. What the heck does that mean? Well, this is what it means. We're gonna make some birds, we're gonna draw them on a piece of cardboard. And so if you are the lucky one that got a piece of cardboard from me, it is pre-cut into a rectangular shape. Now, do not measure it with a ruler because it's probably not straight, okay? If you did not get cardboard from me here at Town Hall, obviously you can get a piece of cardboard from your house. If you don't wanna use cardboard, I guess you could use your sidewalk, your driveway, um, piece of paper, whatever you can think of. Now, if you already know how to draw a bird or if you already have a certain idea of what you want your birds to look like, you are free to go, okay? I, real quick, I'm gonna show you just an easy way to draw a bird, um, and basically you just start by drawing an arrow, okay? So, let's do that real quick, okay? And then, in addition to that, you're gonna need something to color with, right, or paint with. So you're gonna want paint, or chalk, or markers, or crayons, or pastels, like if you have oil pastels, uh, colored pencils, did I say that? Um, I don't know, whatever else you can think of, okay? So, this is my scrap piece of paper, so notice it's already got marks on it, but I'm gonna show you real quick. So you're gonna take a pencil, something to draw with, just something to practice on, just to see if you can do this by starting with an arrow, okay? So I'm going to make a line, and I'm going to go up, and, oh, there's a bump on here, make an arrow. Step one, arrow. Step two, I'm going to put an eye. So eyes are usually what shape? Circle, right? Not square, not triangle, right? So I'm gonna go ahead and put my eye right here, I guess. So circle with a circle on the inside. Ta-da. Then from the top of your arrow, where the point is, the arrow obviously is going to be the beak, right? Because most beaks, beaks are kind of like a triangle shape. So I'm gonna take my pencil, start at the top of the arrow, and I'm going to come around. Oh my gosh, you can already see, it looks like a bird, doesn't it? So easy. All right, next thing is next. I'm gonna go ahead and take the bottom of the arrow that I started with and just kind of draw it out to connect it back here. Flail it up, make a little tail. You can make the tail however you want. Uh, what else does the bird need? Some feet probably, or some legs. Now remember, you're not grading uh, each other on this, so whatever you want it to look like is fine. Um, then we need like a feather, right? A little wing coming out. So let's see here, I'll go ahead and start with a line, take it out, bring it back in. What do you think? It's pretty easy. And it totally looks like a bird, right? Okay, so next what you're gonna wanna do is take your cardboard and draw some birds on here. So, like I said, it's up to you if you wanna draw them on with a pencil, um, if you wanna draw them on with um, a pen, marker, crayon, anything. You can do that now. So, I really didn't plan this out in my head ahead of time. I think I'm going to draw it first, so then I can color it in. Um, let's see here. And basically, you're just putting birds on top of each other. So, it's kinda gonna be silly looking, but I think at the end, it's gonna look really cute and you will be able to lean it up on your front porch. You can, look at this, leaning it up against my shoulder. You could do that while you're sitting at the table. Just lean your artwork. All of your family could be like, oh my gosh, that looks great, I love it. Uh, you could hang it on the wall, hang it on the refrigerator, hang it from the ceiling, put it in the bathroom, uh, put it in the basement. Uh, just don't put it in the trash, enjoy it, right? Enjoy it. Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and start with the bird. I guess I'll start with the bird at the bottom. You can make him however big, however small you want. You do not have to do it the way that I just showed you. That I just thought was a fun, easy way to teach you how to draw a bird if you weren't sure what to do. And... Voila. There's bird number one. Do you want all your birds facing the same direction? Maybe. I think I might have bird number two looking this way. That way they can kind of be like looking out for, you know, the hawk that's gonna come and try and take them away. 
scary but true it happens you ever see that hawk flying by and then there's like a mama bird chasing after it she's probably laying stay away from my kids leave them alone all right so i'm gonna do it this way i'm not always the greatest at drawing backwards but we'll see you shall see how this works Need an eyeball in here. Okay. Can you see two birds on here so far? I'm gonna just do three. If you wanna do 27 birds, you can do that. If you wanna do one bird, you can do that. Now the purpose of this is to have multiple birds. Multiple means what? More than one. So it would be cool if you could try to do more than one bird, um, but it's your project. There are no rules. I can't tell you what to do. I can't grade you on it. I just hope that you have fun with it. And you can make fat birds, skinny birds, tall birds, short birds, um, lumpy birds, birds with no legs, birds with four legs. Like I said, up to you. All right, so notice my birds look different, right? This one I think needs to have longer legs to come down a little bit, it's fine. Okay, so I think I'll use chalk because I have some chalk out here. And like I said, if you want to use paint, well, maybe I'll use paint actually. I've got some paint here. Let's do that, I guess. But, oh my gosh, if I can open it, I'll use the paint. Okay. Uh, whatever kind of paint you have at home is fine. And what's fun too is like if you do paint it, um, you know how like in your coloring book, the picture's already drawn there and then it's outlined in black, right? So what you could do is you could paint your birds and then you could outline them with a crayon or with chalk. You could give this a background and um, use a different art material. So it's up to you. But like I said, I think these will turn out really cute. A lot of people do this for projects at school. People do it for projects at their house. And like I said, you guys should know by now that I like to use cardboard because it's pretty cheap. I don't really have to go to the store and buy cardboard usually, right? Usually you can find cardboard at your house if anybody in your family has ordered anything recently, um, if anyone sent you a package, it usually comes in a cardboard box. If you have eaten cereal lately, it comes in a cardboard box, usually. I mean, like, I know you can get it in bags and stuff, but um, my point is you should have cardboard at your house somewhere. Or if you were lucky, you got a piece of cardboard from me. And again, don't measure it, don't judge my cutting ability because sometimes, depending on the cardboard, it's kind of thick, kind of hard to cut, but art is not perfect. Art is what you want it to look like. So you just really need to have fun with it. All right, it's coming along here. This fan up above me is really helping in things to dry pretty quick today, which is good. Now, I wonder if you are deciding to make a bird like I did, starting out with an arrow, or what you decided to do. Now, I'm going to go ahead and give my bird um, an orange beak, because why not? Um, you could do whatever color you want. I'm gonna go ahead and use orange. It's hard to see what I'm doing with this fan blowing. 
because it like blows everything right in my face. How about a blue eye? Birds probably have blue eyes, right? I have blue eyes. I have a blue shirt. Surprise, surprise. Okay. be fun to even like I said just do a bird and chalk that works out pretty nice so here's my first painted bird pretty cute looking okay next I think I will do the yellow bird I think and of course I did not bring a cup of water to clean my paintbrush so I will just make do with that paintbrush. It should be tricky when it comes to trying to stain the lines, right? All right, kiddos, hopefully you were having fun. I really like to paint, it's very relaxing, even when I get it all over my clothes and all over my arm. Sometimes my face, um, I'm pretty sure I just put my hand in glue from another project, so my hand's kind of sticky. That's okay though. I mean, if you're anything like me, you don't mind messes. But, that's all right. Now, the good thing is, since I'm using this fat paintbrush, if I go out of the lines, what I'm gonna do is trace around it with a piece of chalk, which will hopefully not make it look like I did a super sloppy job. Let me see. We're almost finished with bird number two. back to orange for my orange beak on bird number two. So it's funny, I drew three birds and obviously when you look at them, you're gonna be like, those look so different. Well, if you ever look in the sky, you've got what? Robins, Cardinals, Blue Jays, Sparrows, Woodpeckers, Hawks, you name it, and all of those birds look different, right? So, that's okay to have a bird that looks different. It really, really is. Where'd I put my paintbrush that went in the blue? Where the heck did I leave it? Is this it? As you all know, I always need a helper here with me. Keep me on my feet. All right, I'm gonna show you bird number two. Now look. I'm not gonna lie. This gets cuter and cuter as the paint gets on here. I hope you feel the same way because I just think it's gonna be adorable. Adorable. I think that's how you say adorable in Spanish. If I'm wrong, I'm sorry. Um, this is not Spanish class, this is Art Ventures, but I think adorable is how you would say it. All right, I'm on my last bird, kiddos. I'm painting away. <gasps> Drop my paintbrush, but it's okay. I caught it, I caught it. I caught it before it fell off the table. It's that wind. I guess the wind from the fan is so strong I blew my paintbrush down. I'm just like a delicate flower. Everything I use and touch just gets away from me. Now, I hope some of you will try this and I hope some of you will send pictures because I'm anxious to see what you decided to draw your birds like. Um, if you tried the little method I showed you by starting out with uh, an arrow 
or if you decided to, um, I think, should I do a yellow bead? We'll do it all the same. Or if you decided to draw your own style of bird, um, how many birds did you do? Did you do 27? Did you do two? Did you do four? I was hoping I was gonna do four, but I didn't really uh, figure it out the right way, I guess. I think this last guy, I'm gonna give him a pink eye. Not like the pink eye that you get at school if you get sick or anything, right? This is not a contagious pink eye, this is just a colored pink eye. Um, do orange feet again, I guess. Don't you love how I talk it through with you? And then nobody answers me back. But in my head, I pretend that you answer me back. You gotta do what you gotta do when you're stuck alone at town hall. All right, what do you think? How's that look? Perfect, wonderful, great, terrific. Now, as it dries, like I said, I'm gonna go ahead and outline it with chalk. You do not have to do that. Um, I am going to because I just wanna see if it will look cool. Oh, get it in the paint a little. Like I said, some of my stuff is drying pretty quick with the use of this fan over my head. But I can definitely feel when I try to drag the chalk some spots that are not quite dry yet. Oh my gosh, this is gonna be so stinking cute. So cute. All right, there's bird number one. I need to do something with his eye here. Do some pink here, maybe? No, I was gonna do white. Do I have white chalk? I know you just can't wait to see. Here's what it looks like when I outlined it in chalk. That's pretty cute, huh? Um, I guess I'll do pink on this one too. Gosh, I hope you guys are excited as I am about this. This is a project I was gonna do last summer for one of the summer programs that we did here. This was like an extra project I planned to do, but we just ran out of time. So I've really been wanting to do this for a really long time because it's so easy and so cute. Oh my gosh, I love it. Love it, love it, love it. Um, maybe I'll use green to outline my last bird. Turn it upside down so I'm not getting my arm through all of the different colors. This one's gonna be tricky because it's still pretty wet. And obviously, if you don't have um, sidewalk chalk, like if you have like one of those easels at your house, those usually come with chalk. Those would be like thinner pieces of chalk that they might have at school and some something. That probably would be a little bit easier because this is pretty, pretty thick, but making it work, kids, making it work. Okay, what do you think? Here are my birds on a board. I think they turned out super cute. I hope you like them. I think they're adorable. Gosh, who can I sell this to? Does anybody wanna buy it? I think it's great. Can't wait to see yours. I hope you had fun. Thanks for watching our adventures and I will see you next time. Bye.